Hello guys and welcome on another one. Tonight we'll be talking about the new game mode, Winter of Quo. Uh, this hideous fight with Absorbing Man. Yes. It's my opinion and I'm definite about it that uh, I'm not going to take part of it. And I suggest no one does. And I have at least five reasons for it. So let me start with it. First of all, let's just say that that's the first part of a fourth part storyline. They said that it's going to be every three months and it has four parts on its storyline. So if this feels kind of pushy right now, it will definitely feel mandatory later. And I don't, li I don't like mandatory stuff. I don't like being pushed to do stuff that I don't like. What happens if you don't do it? Well, the rewards are not that amazing, right? And that's the second reason. You get parts every three months, you get parts for a... Let's say a seven star ranking uh, a champ from one to two. That's it. That, that, that's the, the things you miss out on. You might miss out on a deathless champ also. Useless champs. No one uses deathless. Uh, guillotine No one it's fun you get a new champ you might like it. It's has some great features on it But it's not that you have to use it somehow Plus you're gonna lose on a 75% also of a Titan crystal, which is okay. That's a that's much Feels much right now. It would it will not feel much in a few months. I suppose and that was the second reason of why you should not take part on Winter of Woe. Rewards are not that amazing. May look kind of good if you see if you if you calculate the cost of it, which is the third reason. If you calculate the cost of it, you shouldn't do it. Most people, including myself, we we just recovered from Necropolis. And now we have to grasp another endeavor of cost. Just keep in mind that it's not this one fight. It's four fights. Okay. It's every every 15 days another match. Three matches. And in the fourth week you get the, the final map. So this will cost you. If you're not like MSD or some other amazing player that uh, instantly knows how to strategize the fight and uh, perform it all at once, you will have a bad time. And it will cost you. It will cost you on revives, on units, on whatever you use on spending in uh, Necropolis, you're gonna start spending it on uh, Winter of War. All, the, all this cost adds up and this actually hurts your chances of completing more important content like 8.4 that's gonna come maybe next month, who knows. I would prefer my stats to be full when 8.4 comes live. Okay, that was reason number three. Let's go to reason number four. The difficulty in the nodes of those enemies in these, in these fights Rick always requires some specific champs and maybe Hulk for week one uh, was a common champ and most people got him. I wouldn't want to follow a storyline that I have to rank up specific champs just for winter of woe and spring of woe and summer of woe. I, I, I always like to choose my own rank ups and I'm not gonna get pushed by an event that was the fourth reason fifth reason is that one of the most fun things when facing this type of content is trying multiple champs or playing in different strategies with some champs and all this is undermined by the energy cost remember that's just the first fight and the cost is like 10 energy per try it's disappointing. 
you miss out on the fun of uh, trying to face the champ with different options. It's disappointing even trying that. Those are my five main reasons why no one should play Winter of Woe. This is just a bait so that you can get hooked and then feel this mandatory sense of playing the game on this mode later. Later we're gonna have 8.4, you're gonna need your stash full and you're gonna need your units for spring cleaning events and all the rest of the events that come throughout the year. Even if you miss out on, let's say, a rank up of 1 to 2 and the Deathless Champ, you can definitely cover that with all those units you're gonna save up, plus the buying offers from, uh, from the event. Anyhow, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. What did I, what did I say that is not true? Change my mind. Change my mind if you can, because not everybody has this actual amazing skill in the game. Lots of people love the game. Medium skilled guys will have so much to lose in this one. That's it for me, guys. Thanks again for being here and throw in a sub and see you on the next one. Bye.